guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a bag full of goodies again. Today's video is going to be all about none other than the Fenty Holiday Collection. I am literally obsessed. I know that you're probably sick of hearing me say that about the Fenty products when they come out, but like I feel like this is just going to be a repeating thing. Like the stuff is bomb. However, I'm not 100% sure what holiday she is celebrating because like Christmas is not close, Thanksgiving is not really that close either, Canadian Thanksgiving already passed, I don't know, maybe there's a holiday in Barbados, I don't know, or I don't know, whatever. Whatever holiday you celebrate in Rihanna, we celebrating with you too, okay girl? So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eye with some shape tape and then after that I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a fluffy blending brush along with this Smashbox palette that I've got. Um, this is from the Master Palette Kit thingy from this thing. Um, and this is the eyeshadow palette and I'm just gonna pick up this color nude right here and I'm gonna just pop that onto my eye almost as a base all over. I'm then going to pick up my Holy Grail palette, Modern Renaissance, and I'm going to pick up the color Burnt Orange and pop that into just above my crease. And then with this same blending brush, I picked up the color Relger and I'm just popping that right on top. I'm now just taking a tiny little flat brush with some concealer on it and I'm going to go ahead and clean up the lid. And now that that is done, I'm just picking up my M240 brush and the white in the editorial palette as well. And I'm just popping that into the front here. All right, and once I have applied that white, I'm just taking a, another, another flat brush with the turquoise color from the palette. And I am just popping that into the center here. And just, I'm pulling it out slightly and pulling it in slightly as well. I am then going back into the Modern Renaissance palette, picking up this dark chocolate color here called Cypress, and just popping that in the outer corner. And now it's time for the fun part. We are gonna go into the Galaxy palette and I'm gonna pick up this color here. But before I do that, I'm gonna take my MAC Mixing Medium and I'm going to apply a small amount onto that turquoise color here and the white. And then with my finger, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that green color and pop it on top of the turquoise. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. I love it so much. And then I'm gonna pick up the white and pop that right in the inner corner. And then I'm gonna pick up my MAC 217 brush and I'm gonna go back into the Modern Renaissance again, pick up a little bit more of Cypress and deepen it up in the crease here. And then I am going to pick up one of the liners from the Fenty Beauty. It's a glitter liner. Um, while it dries matte, you can rub it and it turns into a glitter. I'm not gonna rub it or anything. I'm just gonna use it as a liner and I'm gonna use the color Alien Bay, which is like a really dark black kind of color that has like these speckles of blue in it when you do rub it, it's really pretty. Um, but it's still just nice when it's on its own. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a really light line on my lash line. I'm then gonna just go ahead and pick up my All May One Coat Mega Volume Mascara. And I'm just gonna do a light layer on my lashes so that they can blend when I add my falsies. And then for lashes today, I know this is a Fenty look, but I'm going to use some Huda Beauty lashes. These are in the style 13, which is Jade. Um, I'm gonna need Rihanna to come up with some lashes. That's what I'm gonna need. That's what I need next from her, some lashes. All right, and now that our eyes are done, we're gonna go ahead and move on to face. I'm just gonna clean up any fallout I might have had, which isn't much, which is nice, because this palette, though it does have a lot of glitters, there isn't a lot of fallout, which is amazing. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and take some of the Pro Filter Primer, and I am going to pop that onto my face here. 
I am then gonna go ahead and apply my foundation. And I've actually just started recently using this IT Cosmetics brush. It is the um, Complexion Perfector brush. And I am so obsessed with this brush, guys. It literally gives such a nice, like, flawless airbrush finish to your face. It's incredible. I, I freaking love it. Like, look at that, completely airbrushed. I still, I know that I raved in the video I did on the Huda Beauty foundation about how much I loved Huda's foundation, but I, I still, I still do love this. I still do. It still gives me feels. And because my eye bags are looking kind of crazy today, I'm just gonna pick up the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. And this is in the color Medium Tan. I'm gonna just put a tiny bit and then using the opposite side, I am gonna go just go ahead and tap it in. And then taking the larger side, I just dab that all out. Like so, pulling it outwards. All right, and then taking my matchsticks in the color Bamboo, and truffle, I'm gonna go ahead and do my highlight and contour. And using that same IT Cosmetics brush, I'm gonna just blend out the contour first. But I'm going to leave the nose highlight for now. I am going to pick up the brush I normally contour my nose with, along with that truffle matchstick, and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit onto the brush, and I am gonna go ahead and run that down the sides of my nose here. And then with my finger, I am gonna just run my finger down my nose, just blend out that. I am then gonna go ahead and pick up the matchstick in the color Blonde. I forgot that I got this. And then as I was looking through my highlights the other day, I found this and I was like, oh, ah, this is gonna go so good with Trophy Wife. Obviously, I'm pretty sure that's what she made it for, but anyways, it's thebomb.com. So I'm just going to put that along the bridge of my nose here, as well as the tip over the lip. And then I'm gonna just dab that out with my fingers like so. And then of course with my Morphe M310 and Trophy Wife. And then I just pop that on top of that matchstick. And with what's left over, I'm just gonna pop it over my lip here. On my chin. And then with my Morphe 204 brush that I used on my eyes, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the Trophy Wife and pop that just underneath. I'm gonna pull that outwards so that it almost connects like a C. And oh my god, I almost forgot my under eyes. You don't wanna leave those, well I mean you could, but you don't want, I don't want to. So I'm just gonna take my Smith 203 brush and Relger and just pop that underneath. I am then going to pick up the color Cypress and I am gonna go ahead and pop that as close to my lash line as possible. It's pussy blue. And then taking this eyeliner pen from Pixie, this is in the color Bronze Beam, I'm gonna go ahead and pop that into my waterline. And then with my All My Mascara, I'm just gonna add some to my and oh my goodness, I nearly forgot to add some blush. So I'm just gonna take, this is Yacht Life, and pop that onto my cheeks. And for lips, cause you guys know I am a nude lipstick kind of girl, I am gonna go with the color Super Moon, which is a hyper glitz lipstick. And then I'm going to pop over the top space suit on, which is one of the glosses. I haven't tried this out yet, so I'm not sure how it's going to turn out either. So I might not even need to add this, seeing as this is a glitz lipstick, but we'll see how it goes. And oh my goodness, she has the little Fenty Beauty logo on the lipstick. That's so pretty. Okay. Let's see how this goes. It's a little bit more pinky than I thought it would be. Oh, 
quite cool it though. So let's add some space to on top. And so I guess this would be the, and I guess this would be the final look, guys. Um, I am digging all the stuff. This palette is actually like incredible. Like there's no fallout, which is amazing um, for a glitter palette. I really, like I'm really feeling this. The colors in it are like so incredibly beautiful. You can like do so many looks with this. Like I'm so excited to do a million and one looks um, with this. The lip colors are beautiful. I really am digging this little combo together if you wanted to do like a very pinky kind of nude look, which is really pretty. I did buy the shadow brush and I totally freaking forgot to use it. So stupid me, as a, for those little glitter liners, I like swatched a bunch of those and I totally forgot to film it. They were all over my freaking arms, but anyways, um, they are beautiful. Uh, they're like, I love the idea of them, that the fact that you can rub them and they turn to glitter. I think that's super cool and super different. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know if there are any other products that do that. Um, but I think that's really cool. It makes them more versatile. So instead of just having like a regular liquid liner, you can actually have this liner turn into a glitter, which is pretty freaking cool if you ask me. So I guess that's it. And as usual, I want to say thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my video. It is always a greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe as well as give the video a big thumbs up. And I guess I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.